Today we're going to look at the Follow Up Boss interface as seen from inside Follow Up Boss when you are enrolled in Structurally and set up using our tagging system. So when you sign up for Structurally, you will decide with your onboarding specialist which way you want to send your leads into Structurally. We have the option to send in all of your new Follow Up Boss leads, um, and then we have some more specific options. And our tagging system is the most popular and also the most customizable. So let's take a look at a system where we're using the tagging. This lead was tagged with new AI buyer. In this particular situation, we decided that new AI buyer was going to be the tag that would trigger structurally. So anytime they go into a lead and apply new AI buyer, that lead will be immediately sent into structurally. From there, Structurally will actually add our own tags to show you the status of that conversation. So this particular lead has responded, they are interested, and they also need an agent to follow up. Because this lead is fully qualified, the Structurally active tag, which is applied when we start a conversation, has been removed. The Structurally active tag is what controls whether or not the assistant is muted or active. If you delete the structurally active tag, it will mute the assistant. This is a nice feature for when your agents have gotten, the, maybe someone's got a hold of this lead and they've already followed up with them and they don't want structurally to reach out anymore. They can remove that structurally active tag to stop that conversation and all future outreach. When the lead is fully qualified or when they have a question that maybe the, the assistant couldn't answer, we will apply a structurally needs follow-up tag. If your uh, agents are working in home chat, you can set so that they will get notifications from Structurally, but you can also set in follow up boss so that your agents will get notified when this tag gets applied. That means they don't have to log into Structurally and they don't have to learn another platform. So I'm gonna show you how to set up an automation so that we can trigger that notification to go to the assigned agent for this lead. Under admin, you can go to automations. And here I've already created one, but I'm gonna create a new one just to kind of walk through it. So what I wanna do is anytime a tag is added that matches structurally needs follow-up, I am going to add an action. Here, I'm gonna pick add a note. And the reason for that is, is add a note has the ability to notify a team member. So here I'm going to type in qualified lead. You can put anything you want to in this notes area. And then we're going to tell it we want it to notify the assigned agent. We can also notify an entire pond or a lender. So whoever you want to be notified once this structurally needs follow up tag applies, you can check that down in here. And then we just click done. And essentially that's all that's needed to notify the agent once this tag is applied. You can imagine that there's a lot of automations you can create based around these tags. This is just one example of something that's very popular. Uh, in addition to creating automations for the tags, you can also add the tagging system into your current action plans. So if you go into an action plan that you already have set up, so you could do maybe new leads. So anytime a new lead comes in, you can have it automatically apply a tag or you can even go into your action plans for maybe your stale leads or leads that are in a campaign that goes on for quite a bit of time. And you can add the structurally outreach at a certain point in there. So maybe after 14 days, you wanna send it to old AI seller or old AI buyer to let them know that, you know, and to follow up with them at that point. Some of our teams like to let their agents work leads for a day or two, and then send the leads into Structurally. So these are things that you don't necessarily need to build new action plans. You can actually just add these steps into your current action plan and then drag them to wherever it is that you want it to engage. So at some point, if you wanted to do it on you know, day one, you could put it right at the beginning, or if you wanted it to happen later. And these are things you can slip into the action plans you're already using. So you don't necessarily need to create new automations or new action plans. So we do recommend, um, if you have questions about best practices for action plans and automations, um, and you haven't met with your follow-up boss team lately, their support team is really great about helping build out 
best practices and stable automations and action plans that work really good into the future. So we're pretty good at knowing when to put in structurally, um, but as far as teaching everyone exactly how they should build their automations and action plans, um, that's definitely something follow-up boss would be better at handling with your team. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to look at your settings and look at your setup and see if there's a way that we can um, make things even better.